All right, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for showing up for the Tech Talk uh, here at uh, OpenStack Summit in Atlanta. And I'm going to take a few minutes and talk about a new project that we are trying to bootstrap within the OpenStack community. This project is called Congress. And the idea behind Congress is to provide a policy layer or a policy engine across all of the different cloud services that OpenStack uh, provides. So uh, I've titled the presentation, The Need for Policy in the Cloud. We'll start out with just a quick look at uh, where the state of things are today. So today, the, the policy problem as we define it is that you have many different inputs, uh, many different types of sources, many different things that are driving policy in your cloud environments. So you might have uh, policy coming from government legislation that requires certain configurations, requires the placement of data in certain places, uh, those kinds of things. Uh, you might think of this as like uh, HIPAA, uh, PCI, those kinds of things. You might have industrial regulations, which again, another example would be HIPAA or PCI. So um, organizational contracts such as SLAs or uh, business business agreements that you have entered into with business partners, business rules that specify resources should be allocated in a specific way or to specific business units or um, something of that nature. You have privacy promises uh, telling your customers, you know, we're not going to share your personal content, anything of that nature. So you have all of these different um, sources of, of policy coming together. Now, there's no one way to uh, take all of these policies and, and look at them. There's no one policy that we can define right now, and there's no way to, to do this in any sort of holistic way across the various uh, cloud services that are provided. Um, and so the existing approach that organizations are forced to take is to have many different touch points. So you'll have a group that will take um, industrial or government regulations and legislation and compile that down manually into some sort of language or rule or policy that will define how that affects the infrastructure. And often that can't even be necessarily technologically enforced uh, in some cases. You, again, you have somebody, the lawyers, who are taking these organizational contracts and saying that we have to require that we do X, Y, or Z. You have the business rules and the privacy promises. And so you have all these different organizations coming through and applying um, some uh, subset of the overall policy, the overall policy being what it would look like if we took all of these things together and uh, compile them together to, to say this is what our, this is how our cloud resources need to be controlled or affected or allocated or, or utilized. The idea behind Congress is, um, and, and I note that I put the policy as a service kind of in quotes there, um, partly to be funny, but partly because the idea of Congress is that we're providing a policy uh, framework uh, for all of the different cloud services that exist within a cloud environment. Um, so. Um, some of uh, the cloud services that I've listed here uh, that exist in OpenStack today, so for example, we're talking about being able to take policy uh, for, uh, from and also apply to uh, network connectivity, which would uh, be done via Neutron. It might be uh, enforcing policy from uh, or into the compute infrastructure, uh, which would be handled by OpenStack Nova, or storage policies via Cinder, um, uh, rule-based access control, taking information out of Keystone, right? Um, but there might be even other services that you want to pull in. I have a, a fictional service, you know, antivirus as a service, right, uh, over here on the side. Uh, but this could be uh, a service or, or a, a, a piece of technology in your data center that is providing security information. It might be a remediation service that is scanning your VMs and saying, yes, they are, um, there are no security vulnerabilities, or yes, there is a security vulnerability, and, and here's the CDN number, or something of that nature. Um, it could be, you know, a f other firewall, um, sources of information. We could be using uh, other directories like Active Directory or LDAP, but, but Congress wants to be able to uh, pull in all of these different uh, sources of information and be able to compile a single policy across the entire cloud infrastructure that allows you to define policies across individual silos. So some of these projects have policy efforts underway right now. For example, there's a policy effort underway within Neutron, but that is domain specific. What Congress attempts to be is actually domain agnostic, being able to provide uh, policy definitions and certain types of enforcement, which I'll talk about in a minute, across all cloud services, not being tied to specific cloud services. Now let's take a look at of an example policy that you could construct with Congress, right? We're saying that every network that is attached to a VM must either be a public network or a private network, and that private network must be uh, owned by someone who's in the same group as the owner of the VM. 
Now, this kind of policy cannot be expressed today uh, in, in OpenStack. Um, it relies on multiple cloud services, so we have to pull information from Nova, um, who is the owner of the VM, what are the networks to which it's attached. We have to pull information from Neutron for that. We have to pull information from Keystone, uh, who is the user that is attempting to do this, right? Um, we have to pull information from even information outside of OpenStack. In this case, we have to pull information from some sort of LDAP directory that says that the person who is attempting to attach this network to this VM is in the same group as the owner of the VM, right? So this is actually a really complex policy um, that touches multiple cloud services within an OpenStack environment, um, but would be made possible through the use of um, Congress. Now, the other thing that Congress attempts to do also is provide multiple models of, uh, we'll say, enforcement, right? Um, sometimes uh, you, you, all you want to be able to do is just monitor violations. And this might be the case early in Congress's lifestyle where all of the individual projects haven't yet um, evolved to understand and interact with Congress on an API level. So Congress can pull information from the projects using a consistent uh, uh, way of looking at that data. We treat all of the projects as a similar data source and we have a data source engine that has been built to, to pull in dis, uh, disparate sources of information into Congress, and it can just monitor for violations. And if a violation occurs, it can report them. There are also certain types of violations that can't be prevented. They can only be reported. One example would be a security uh, vulnerability. Until that security vulnerability is reported, we don't know that it exists, and therefore we can't prevent it. Once that security vulnerability is reported, Microsoft releases a patch on Patch Tuesday, then we can say, oh, these systems are no longer compliant because now there's a patch, right? So in some cases, you need a solution like Congress uh, to only monitor and report on violations. In some cases, you want it to be able to prevent violations, uh, such as the example I gave earlier, where you don't want a VM attached to a network unless that network is either public or belongs to a member of the same group as the owner of the VM. And finally, you might want uh, Congress to go back and actually uh, correct violations. Okay, this, this firewall rule is, is a violation of policy because it allows traffic that is not permitted by the overall policy, therefore go back and remove this firewall rule or um, uh, detach this VM from the network. To, again, the, the exact way in which we remediate that policy can be controlled uh, by the operator. Um, so Congress is a, a new project. It's something that we are bootstrapping within the OpenStack community. It's not yet an incubated project. We're hoping to achieve incubation soon. If you are interested in learning more about Congress or you want to uh, contribute or participate, anything of that nature, there's a wiki page available on the OpenStack site. Uh, so the links are up on the slide uh, deck uh, that you are either viewing live right now or that you're viewing uh, recorded. Um, if you are here at the summit or you want to go look up the session recordings for the summit, then there's a session tomorrow. It's uh, Wednesday, 4.30 p.m. Here's the URL for that. Um, we have our lead architects uh, on the Congress project who will be speaking about Congress and uh, architecture and goals and so forth. In addition, for those of, that are, those are, of you that are here at the summit, we have a design session um, going on Friday morning uh, as under the OpenStack or Open Source Community Project uh, track. Uh, well, we'll be discussing in depth for developers and those who are interested what uh, the, the project looks like, what the data, sor data sources are going to look like, um, you know, all this kind of jazz, APIs, uh, that sort of thing. So. Uh, that wraps up the presentation. I hope you found this information interesting, and I look forward to speaking with you all more about it.